What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I got a little bit of a rant video for you guys today. Um, I did a video, I don't know, it was several days ago, maybe a week ago, about um, a driver that was uh, accused of raping a passenger and he ended up spending six months in jail which if you ask me, it doesn't sound like that's a very long time for, for a rape case, but there were some really weird and extenuating circumstances surrounding that case, and I think that's probably why the driver only got six months. Um, I mentioned that video. I wasn't trying to say the lady didn't get raped, and I, I want to reiterate that today. Um, I'm in no way, shape, or form saying that she didn't get raped, and this video isn't even entirely about that case anyway. I have... I have a problem with the law surrounding this, and you know what? There's I, I've, I've I've had to repeat this over and over um, in the comment section of that video, and I'm honest, I'm just tired of repeating myself. So I figure I'll just make a video about it. Um, I may lose some subscribers over it, but I feel the way I feel, and I'm not going to pretend to be somebody else for for views. <laughs> it's not me, you know. I'm not a sellout like that. So here's the way I feel, guys. Um, if a woman can consent to drinking and driving and get arrested and charged with DUI, which, you know, DUIs cost what, guys? 10000 About $10,000 per DUI. Um, if a woman's capable of, of making a conscious decision to drink and drive and, and she gets a ticket, the police will absolutely throw her in jail and charge her with driving under the influence, right? Right? Absolutely. They, they, do they look at the woman? Does the police officer pull a woman over? and say, gee, miss, uh, you're driving a car impaired. Um, you couldn't consciously make that decision. You absolutely couldn't consent to this, so it's okay. You know, we'll take you home, or, or you know, don't worry about it. We're not going to give you a, DI, a DUI. That doesn't happen, guys. That's not how it works. Cops going to look at that woman and be like, you're hit. You're done. So how is it? And what if the woman kills somebody? What if the woman runs into a crowd of people because she's drunk? All right, it's happened. It's happened. Did the, did the police look at her and go, well, you know what? You couldn't make the conscious decision to drink and drive. You're incapable of making decisions on your own. So we're just going to waive this. You know, that's, that's all the murder charges or, or, or uh, unintentional manslaughter or whatever. It's, 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 don't worry about it because you couldn't make a good conscious decision. You weren't of a sound mind. It's not how it works. But so when a woman commits a crime under the influence... Well, she has to take responsibility to that because it's her choice. But if a man, I mean, don't get me wrong. Technically, rape is rape, whether it's a male or female. You just you just tend to see more of these cases when it's a, a man performing the, the, the transgression here. Um, men don't typically call the police on rape, <laughs> you know, but, you know, that's that's not even where I'm trying to go with this. So, a woman can be charged for her actions while she's intoxicated. So, she obviously has the mental capacity to make decisions. But, if she consents to sex and wakes up the next morning, as somebody in the comment section said, buyer's remorse. That's kind of what it is. She could wake up the next morning and be like, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Or, you know, whatever the case may be, all she got to do is call up rape, trying to get a few dollars. Don't think it hasn't happened, guys. You, 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 you're, you're a fool if you want to sit here and comment like some of those other people saying it doesn't happen. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. So a woman can wake up the next day, change her mind, and say, you know what, that was rape. That's a serious accusation, guys. It's no joke. That'll ruin a person's life. I mean, all, I like to kid and cut up, but that's not funny. Ruin a person's entire life with a sex crime charge. You don't outrun that. There ain't nowhere you can go in this country you're going to run away from that. And that's okay by the law. The law says, well, she couldn't make a conscious decision. Now, I'm going to reiterate again, yes, this applies to men and females. But just you see this happen a lot more with females uh, calling rape because she was intoxicated. Now, look, guys, I don't go out and sleep with drunk women. All right, so it's not it's not even my problem. It's not, I, like I mentioned in the last video, I'm not going to jail over some poutine. All right, ain't going to happen, not ever. So because the law is what it is, I would never even consider sleeping with an intoxicated woman. Um, but the fact remains that a lot of people do. 
and a lot of people are potentially facing rape charges. They are potentially future sex offenders because they chose, and you know, they could be drunk too. But here's the other thing. Both parties are drunk. Woman consents to sex. Guy has sex with her. It turns around and calls rape. Guess what? Guy's still going to go to jail. Guy's still going to get arrested. Guy's still going to be looking at a rape charge. He was into intoxicated too. You know? I mean, I guess the, the, they, they could sit there and say that he could file rape on her, and then, you know, probably both parties would end up dropping the cases. But this is just crazy. I don't agree with it because, in my opinion, it's a double standard. The law shouldn't work that way. There shouldn't be double standards. The law should be equal between all people, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, whatever. The law should be equal, and it's not. It's biased. It's heavily biased in a lot of cases, and it, and it really depends a lot upon where you live. But if a woman can not consent to sex while she's drunk, basically, even if she consents, she didn't technically consent because she couldn't make conscious decision because she is intoxicated. Well, in that case, you can't charge her with DUI. You can't charge her with assault and battery. You can't assault her with property damage. Or assault her. <laughs> it's five in the morning. Um, you can't charge her for crimes that she committed while she's drunk if she can't be held accountable for her decisions and actions when it comes to having sex while she's drunk. I know a lot of people are like, it's not the same thing. It is the same thing. Sex is a conscious decision. Whether you're drunk or not, you make a decision. I've been plastered before, guys. Most of it, I remember. And I knew what I was doing at the time. That whole drunk thing, 99% of the time, is a bullshit excuse to get out of some kind of trouble or or not admit that you did what you did. It's, it's bogus, man. Come on, grow the fuck up. Anyway, I'm going to end that rant there. <laughs> Tell me what you think, guys. You know, a lot of you probably think, oh, this dude's crazy. It ain't right. You know, that's fine. I mean, I respect everybody's opinion. I just wanted to put mine out there. I, I don't feel that uh, double standards should be in the legalities of our society. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there and Uber on.